We have the tools to combat COVID-19 and a distinct minority of Americans supported by a distinct minority of elected officials are keeping us from turning the corner. These pandemic politics, as I refer to, are, are, make, are making people sick, causing unvaccinated people to die. We cannot allow these actions to stand in the way of protecting the large majority of Americans who have done their part. I want to get back to life as normal. This is Orwellian bullshit. It's unbelievable. He said, okay, so he is saying that if you don't put down a mask mandate, you are causing unvaccinated people to die. No, you are not. The unva- According to Joe Biden himself, one second ago, okay, within the last second, according to Joe Biden, the unvaccinated are causing the unvaccinated to die by not vaccinating. Mandating masks isn't causing, or failure to mandate masks is not causing the unvaccinated to die. The unvaccinated not vaccinating is causing the, va- the unvaccinated to die. And when he says, we can't allow these actions to stand in the way of protecting majority of Americans who've done their part and want to get back to life as normal. I've been back to life as normal since day that I got vaccinated. So have my parents. So has everybody else vaccinated who is not out of their damned mind. The minute you got vaccinated, you were good to go. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and the garbage spreader Ben Shapiro is at it again. You know, you can obviously tell that this guy loves to hear himself talk, and sometimes I wonder if he even takes breaths in between spewing the crap that he utters. But make no mistake about it, ladies and gentlemen, Ben Shapiro is a very smart man, but he chooses to use his intelligence for the wrong reasons. This guy could literally educate the masses on what they could do to better their lives but he won't. Somebody has obviously got their hooks in on him, and I would say that for a price, he is willing to regurgitate whatever the hell they want him to. Ben Shapiro is now attacking President Biden for taking the necessary steps to ensure we vaccinate as many Americans as possible. Folks, people are dying, and any decent human being would be doing their part to convince everyone to take the shots, to wear the masks, and do whatever must be done to protect fellow Americans, but not the human worm Ben Shapiro. Get the f- In Frisco, Texas, this man is angry that a Black Lives Matter protest is blocking traffic. They can't be in the middle of the road, he says, and now he's about to engage in white privilege. Yes, he just slapped that young black woman's arm and phone. Now he's got his fists up. There is the cop. Let's see what happens with the legal observer in the red t-shirt. Yes, that was a push. The police officer's gonna reach for the taser, right? No, because this is a large threatening white man, not an African-American. All lives matter. Black lives don't matter. All lives <laughs> oh, this is being recorded, all right. That is former U.S. Army Drill Sergeant John Miles. He is drunk, and clerks at the South Carolina grocery store are refusing to sell him and his girlfriend more alcohol. Black Lives Matter is the most racist thing we've ever seen. All, right, all lives matter. All lives matter. That's how it is. And how it is on this Friday night is that Miles, age 27, is trespassing and disturbing the peace. This jackass decided to get out of his truck and try to start something. I appreciate the argument that a cop's job in a volatile situation like this is to try and de-escalate things. And perhaps this officer was wise to stay cool and calmly guide the man away from the crowd, even though the man had just slapped the arm of a woman recording him. But imagine if that had been a large black man who slapped the arm and phone of a young white woman. Would the police officer have been this restrained? The bigotry and profanity went on for a few minutes. All of you black Hey, guess what? I got a goddamn black kid in goddamn Georgia. I'm not a racist. Get the 
way. And again, this protest in Frisco, Texas stemmed from the killing of a black man in law enforcement custody, a man who was only detained in the first place because of a marijuana misdemeanor. Say his name. Marcus By contrast, the impatient white motorist gets to throw around F-bombs, assault a woman, push a guy, and square off to punch people, and there's no arrest, no trip to the local jail. She is such a fake feminist that she would bring up an issue like this and try to use it to make some kind of political point. That, that's, not, that's not equality, right? Sarah Palin is very upset at Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez for suggesting that there isn't a one-to-one -one overlap between people with uteruses and women. Sarah Palin is seemingly infuriated at the notion that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez acknowledged the existence of non-binary and trans folks. This leads Sarah Palin into a nonsensical tirade about how AOC is some sort of fake feminist because she's willing to speak up for the reproductive rights of people who aren't women. She should be embarrassed to um, even have tried to bring up a, an issue like that and make her political point. She's so off base politically, but off base even in um, this analogy or whatever it is that she's throwing out there. She, she's milking the whole female thing. and. As a real feminist, I'm embarrassed for her. Hold up, rewind that bit. As a real feminist, I'm embarrassed for her. So Sarah Palin's calling herself the real feminist here. Let's think about who's the real feminist. In fact, let's look at some of Sarah Palin's previous comments about women and gender and sexism. Just look at this speech right here, where Sarah Palin seems to suggest that Republicans should always circle the wagons and defend each other from any claims of racism or sexism. I guess that's something a real feminist would do. And we don't sit on our thumbs this next time when one of our own is being crucified and falsely accused of whatever the hip accusation of the day happens to be, right? Racism, sexism, whatever. And then here's this clip where Sarah Palin wildly suggests that somehow the real feminist thing to do is to strip away all the benefits we give to mothers in this country and struggling women in this country who depend on things like food stamps, free lunch programs, and things like that in order to feed their children and to take care of themselves and to stay housed. On gender, oh man, this one, uh, on gender, it is they who defeat women. They shackle them to the good old boys running Washington, pimping this promise that, oh, they have to provide for the little ladies every need because they're there. A woman, she's just not capable. It's the left that does that. It isn't the right, it isn't conservatives. Let's be clear, why does Fox News do this? Why does Sarah Palin do this? The truth is, Fox News depends on identity politics more than anybody else, where they will get people like Sarah Palin, who is a woman, to go out and criticize women, and to criticize the entire feminist movement and everything about feminism. It is fundamentally what they do. But don't worry, AOC had a fantastic response to Sarah Palin's tears on Fox News. Does make you mad? Does the fact that, yes, I am a mouthpiece for the people of New York's 14th Congressional District upset you? Well, I have help for you. Call 1-800-CRY-NOW. It's 1-800-CRY-NOW. And right there, you see Republicans getting the response they really deserve. 